come up one level and see. Yes. <laughs> well, at least that part works. <laughs> welcome to Dwarf Fortress and welcome to the channel. I'm Twisted Logic. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the favorite things I like to build and my frustrations currently. This right here, we're looking at a minecart going around a track. Okay. And right here, this is a Gabriel Block upward track southeast. So it's facing south and it's also facing east. And it's an upward track. It's on a ramp. The minecart is going along on 1Z level, 1Z level, 1Z level. It hits this track and it thinks it's in the ceiling, falling down. This is called an impulse ramp. And it is one of the keys to magma gun and successful dwarven shotgun okay the minecart is going so fast that it skips over those spaces lands on these floor tiles and then keeps going but now that i'm opening up the floor there's more impulse ramps underneath uh, it misses this one right here but it hits this one and this one and accelerates okay when we throw this lever there's going to be a couple more impulse ramps and the easiest way to think about impulse ramps because it's it's always a track ramp so it's a ramp that's a track and it's a turning track ramp so there's two directions to it one direction is the direction that you want the minecart to go and it's going to go fast in that direction and the other direction is to be facing a wall it's always a 90 degree turn so if we were doing it uh, to the west over here we would have a southwest ramp or if we were doing it right here, we could have a northwest ramp. Okay? The new way of doing tracks, if we go to build construction track, if I click this spot right here, it tries to predict where I want the track to go, and it is obnoxiously bad at creating impulse ramps. It, it's terrible. Uh, we used to be able to select the exact tile that we wanted so if we wanted a track right in the middle of the track here where where logically the game wouldn't think you would want a track right you could build one there uh and if you wanted a if you wanted to create impulse ramps it was relatively easy to just kind of select the space that you wanted to put them in and just build them there there's a couple other bugs here um, so the impulse ramp is a bug, but it's, uh, and it's a working bug, okay? So it's a bug that, that works to our advantage. But making the impulse ramps themselves, that's the, that's the vexing part. We're going to dig a new area here. Okay, yeah, that works right there. And we're just going to dig a long tunnel just like this. And then down the center line here, we're going to channel until we get to about yeah right there's good and then we'll channel doesn't matter how long it is okay it's just an example and I'm also gonna pull this lever to fire the gun so pull lever and that's gonna open up this bridge okay once this bridge opens it's no longer a wall and the minecart is then gonna be traveling so fast that it's gonna jump off of this turn track it's not going to be able to turn, so it's going to keep going straight there, you see? It's going to hit a couple more impulse ramps, and then it's going to hit a wall. It's going to hit a solid mudstone wall here, and the minecart is going to drop down a couple levels onto this track, and the contents of the cart, if I click on the cart here, right there, these stones are going to fly up one level, and then they're going to be propelled forward and that is the Dwarven Shotgun. So let's unpause the game. Yes. And you see that they spread out a little bit. We didn't get very much distance there. Normally we would have a lot more impulse ramps here. And now down one level, this is one of the vexing parts about all of this, is the minecart is now sitting on a upward track facing west. And the game is unpaused right now. So this cart is sitting on a track ramp. That's not, it's not supposed to happen like that. It's supposed to roll forward and then the track, the 
cart should be somewhere over here from landing on a sloped track and then rolling forward. Um, so that's one thing that completely breaks minecart systems for use in dwarven shotguns and magma guns, or at least the automatic feature of them, because we used to make some pretty crazy machines, and hopefully we'll be able to make them again one day. So now that that cart is not a spiraling death machine over here, we're going to dig over to this area here. Whenever you're doing a minecart system like this, a dwarven shotgun, you want to have the walls catch the turns of the minecart. Because if this, if there wasn't a wall here, then the minecart would just keep going off of the track. I'm waiting for the cart to return here so I can forbid it, so they don't fill it up and push it again. And then I'm going to show you another bug. Okay, so we're going to go to build, and then construction, and a track. And we're just going to click here and then drag over here and we're building a straight track just like that all out of wood build construction track and then we're gonna select this tile right here come up one and then back over you see you can't loop to it it doesn't doesn't have good it doesn't have a good um, understanding of what I want it as a player do build construction track and then we're going to start on that tile, like same tile again. Come over here. Can't connect them yet. Uh, we'll build that out of jet, and then we'll build one more to make it loop. Okay, Gabriel. That's fine. And that makes the loop there. You can see that it's turning. If you don't have that turn, then it's not going to create the turn once it's built. Okay, this minecart is back. So we're just going to forbid that. So the card is now forbidden, which means the doors are not allowed to touch it. And so the basics of mine carts are we're going to go to this menu here and we're going to create our new route. Okay, we're route three right now. And then we're going to create a stop here. The stop is a location where a mine cart will be chosen to be placed. Okay, so if I click on that and then I click right there. Okay, I made stop one. Okay, so if I click on another new route, and I want to make another stop, and I click right there. Okay, did you see where I clicked? Is there any indication in this menu that shows where that stop is? The answer is no. So you have no idea where these stops are, and that's one of the other vexing bugs. We can go to route 3 here and press this button to add a minecart. Okay, so we're going to add that one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it is. The red exclamation mean is means it is not at the track stop. And we're gonna add another one here. Okay, they're gonna bring those over. While they're bringing these over, if we hit this conditions, uh, these are the default conditions, and we just X those out, and we make a new condition. This is always how you do the minecart. You always X those out and make a new condition. Then you set a direction. Okay, do you want to push east, north, or south, or west? Do you want to push it? Do you want to kick it? Do you want to ride it? Okay. So we're going to... Oh, you know what? That's what we'll test. We'll test riding the minecarts. <laughs> so this one right here, uh, guide east, which means that the dwarf is going to hand on the Minecraft and, and push it. And I'm sorry if I sound very frustrated in this video, because I am frustrated. Because this is a frustrating, this is my favorite thing to do, is play with minecarts and make dwarven shotguns and magma guns. My f absolute favorite thing to do, and it's fuck, it, and it's currently broken. Don't want to, don't want to curse. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we have a percentage of desired items here that we can that we can add to the minecart, um, or we can select it to be empty. Okay. And then here, uh, this button here, we're going to select the items for the minecart. So the minecart is going to be treated as a stockpile. And so we're going to tell this minecart that we'll accept stones. And we're going to uh, just accept all stones to this minecart. Okay. I can move the camera around with WASD. Okay. Now I'm going to come right here and I'm going to select 
take from a stockpile and now I cannot move the camera with WASD it is stuck here so I'm pressing WASD the camera is not moving so let's cancel that move over to where we could see the stockpile and then except from this stockpile okay something's toasty <laughs> Now that this whole area is complete, let's channel down over here to make a proper range. Okay, so that's going to be channeled down, build, construct, fortification. We're doing all six of those, all gabbro, and then we're going to have to just make a pathway for the dwarves to work over there, like that. And then a wall on those two spaces. A wall right there and then one more wall one more wall right there okay so that's gonna be the basis of the shotgun it's gonna emulate this right here and right here we're doing it just twice okay okay just to eliminate confusion because when I go to this I don't know which stop is which uh, this is the one that we set up right here okay so this one right here route 3 we're just gonna delete that we're gonna bring whichever one of these two is Route 3 back to the stockpile. And then down here, we'll create just a landing zone. So in the past, you would press three buttons on the keyboard and then be in the minecart track menu to select which track you wanted. If you wanted to construct a specific track, carve tracks then it was very easy as well then that was two buttons but you can also carve tracks although they seem to be even more buggy with this right here if I go to dig and then come down one and dig underneath this track just like this I'm gonna pause the game and we're gonna dig out the bottom of this track but we're not breaching the top here we're just mining this one layer now we can go a little bit further here too oh this miner Olum I think Oh, look at him. You can see him. The track with a dugout level underneath the track becomes a viewing portal down 1Z level. You see, you can see the dwarves down there. You can see them moving. <laughs> so this is another bug. Um, also, there's a couple bugs with the military that have been coming up. If I go to the squads here and select this squad and then go to the equipment, if I go to assign a uniform, I can assign a different uniform here. However, I can't edit the current uniform that is there. Now, I can add a uniform to create my own. If I wanted to do a new uniform, it's pretty easy. And then you select the material here. Uh, any material, metal, we're going to do metal there. Uh, headwear, we're going to do helmet. So it's pretty easy to create a new uniform. Uh, but you can't edit a current uniform. Also, there's nowhere here to select this squad's ammunition. So in the past, we could choose between wooden or bone bolts for archery training and then a separate set of bolts for combat. And now, wooden bone, maybe you would want to use them for combat. That's your choice. It's a sandbox game. And maybe you want to use adamantine bolts for training purposes in order to split those bolts out of stacks so you can melt them down and create infinite adamantine or something like that. I don't know who would even think of something like that. <laughs> but these are options that are missing from the military menu. There's also no option here for the, let's see here, but maybe I missed it. Yeah, there's no option here for the squads or members of the squad to carry food or not carry food, as well as water. So the backpacks that are in the game are for the military to carry food and drink in. You can have them either carry water or alcohol normally. Missing UI options there. Uh, these are just some bugs that I experienced and that I'm a little vexed about. To create this, these two channels as a gun, as a dwarven shotgun, we need to go into the build menu and then construction, 
and then select track right and then we're on the upper level here and we're gonna select this spot I'm gonna come down one level and then go over and then select the material okay and then we're gonna have to go back into the menu and do the same thing all over again just like this whatever material we want doesn't matter the material build construct track so this is extremely tedious now I don't know if it's the intention of the developers to remove uh, impulse ramps from the game however I've tested that the impulse ramps are still working uh, it's just that this track is extremely extremely tedious to build now and it would be great if we had a it would be great if we had a way to get like advanced mode for tracks so like there's easy mode and then you can turn it to advanced mode where you can select the specific track that you want that would be very cool it'd be like maybe something in the options that would turn that on i don't know if that would be built into the game or or if that would be a mod that we would have to get if we could even mod that in, I'm not sure. We're building the gun, so... I've been playing this game for... A little bit more than a decade, so I'm okay with tedious things. Uh, for up to a point, at least. Now, we can... We don't have to use the impulse ramps to do this. To make a dwarven shotgun. We can also use... Uh, rollers, if we go to machines and fluids... We can create these rollers here. We have to create them on tracks. And then we pick the direction and we pick the speed. Okay? So if we play if we built rollers right here, then they would propel the minecart. However, you need to you need to attach one of these dwarven power supplies to it. So it becomes a little bit much. But this fact right here that we went over earlier where the where the cart can't roll off of a track ramp. That breaks the whole thing. So, so sometimes if you have a if you have a very large fortress that spans multiple Z levels, like a lot of them, you or like um, say you have a remote base down at the Magma Sea, and you wanted to get a lot of stuff from the upper part of the fortress to the lower part of the fortress, you could dig a channel all the way down to the Magma Sea, load up a minecart. And then push the minecart in. And then all of the things in the minecart are down at the Magma Sea almost instantaneously. Um, however, now... If it lands on a track... It, it stays exactly where it lands. It doesn't roll. That's definitely a bug. And, and I hope it fixed soon. Now... A lot of things with this Steam version I'm liking... I'm liking so many things about the Steam version, but this right here, building shotguns and building magma guns and, and stuff like that, that's like one of my favorite things to do in this game, and it's currently busted, and it's, and I discovered it was busted uh, just before I was going to make this video. So forgive me if I'm a little... Uh, <laughs> Forgive me if I'm a little angrier today. It's not anger, it's just it's frustration is what it is. And I know that... I know that uh, Zack and Tarn are doing everything they can to make the greatest game in the world. And they're doing it, and they're, they're doing so much work over there, so I'm not even... I'm not even that upset about it. I don't know about making the second one. I might have to do the second one off camera because it's just taking so long to place all these impulse ramps. And the thing is, is like these are these impulse ramps. Like this one's an impulse ramp, but this is a regular track. So they should really be bunched up right next to each other. So instead of like instead of four here, there should be like eight impulse ramps here. And it gives a massive boost to speed. It's like the ba the um they got the basics good for the release, but Okay, so that one everything else kind of seems a little scuffed, you know? Like, the military is completely scuffed right now. Okay, and then the last two tracks right there. 
and then we're just going to dig a channel. Okay, down one level. I'm going to dig a path over here so I can dig another channel. So this path is so they can stand there and dig that channel. Because I want to test the cart return. Maybe, maybe I just messed it up over here. Although, I don't think I did. I'm going to channel a little bit more over here. So normally, when you hit the wall with the minecart, if it's only one wall and there's nothing in these two tiles right here, then sometimes the minecart can phase through the wall, or at least it, it used to. I don't know if it still does. So normally we would leave three tiles of wall there, and then we would channel out these ones. We are going to forbid everything over here. And we're also going to hide it from sight. Okay. Build, construct track. And then I'm just going to put a track right there. Guide east immediately always at least 0%. Okay. So somebody's going to come along and guide that cart. Is he doing it? They don't seem to be able to push that. Alright, let's see. Next guy that walks over to this, we'll try to get him before he gets to it. Nothing stopping this minecart from moving once it gets inertia, and the push should do it. Okay, let's look at this guy. This guy, Itan, is going to push the track vehicle, let's see. Okay, he just pushed it. Yeah, if I go to the condition again, to double check it, We're pushing east, so maybe we'll just switch it to west. Guide west one immediately, always. So this may just be another bug where we can't even guide the the minecart. We're gonna build another route down here. Okay, so new route. We're gonna add a minecart to that. Oh, did it? Did it go? Oh, there we go. I just made the route there. Uh, right here. You're gonna have to take my word for it because there's no indication of that. <laughs> we're gonna go into the conditions we're gonna remove all the conditions so there's no conditions nobody's gonna touch the cart then we're just gonna dig out path or room for a stockpile right here and you know what maybe maybe stones are too heavy so we'll try something else that's not stones and then all these stones on the track here we're gonna dump just to be sure so new stockpile right here except and there's gonna be a custom stockpile okay so just no trap components and so it'll be a weapon stockpile with no track trap components and we're gonna to go to this barrel right here and we're gonna set the number of bins to zero done because the, if you they'll put the whole bin into the minecart and then you need a second cannon to I made a video on shooting cats out of cannons, <laughs> and uh, it explains how to also, like you could shoot the cats out of the cannon, but you can, it'll also explain how to shoot the bin out of the cannon. So if you, <laughs> it's kind of an older video. Custom, weapons, all, none, crossbow. Okay, so that's going to be a crossbow stockpile there. No, no crossbows over here. Crossbows are going over there. So they should start taking them just so that way they don't take up room in here. Okay, we got a, we got the uh, legendary Warhammer here. Excellent. So now back in this menu. We're going to take all weapons, but we're not going to accept crossbows. Or bulky crossbows. Or bows or blowguns. One crossbows, come on with it. <laughs> okay and then if we look at this warhammer uh this weight is less than one okay this stone's weight is 125 so that's going to fly a lot faster zero enter 
done. Okay, that set at that time. Let's see the mining pick. The mining pick is a weight of four. Okay, and then we're just gonna link this stockpile. So we're gonna have to move the camera so that way we could see the stockpile and then we can link it to that one. Excellent. Okay, nobody has been able to move this minecart here by guiding it. So you just tried to do it. Yeah, see, he just tried to do it there. So let's go into that condition here because maybe just guiding is broken. So that's stop, four, that's route one. I'm sorry, that's route four, stop one. We're gonna change guide. We're gonna change it to push off. Okay, and look, he did it just immediately, just like that. Okay, wow, so guiding is broken. Oh great, they're putting some picks in here. We don't need to fill up the whole thing with picks before we can shoot it. That's a ghost right there. Yeah, we got a ghost here. Yeah, we got a ghost here. Okay, he's bringing the minecart back. It's back. Excellent. Let's go into the conditions of it. And... We're going to try riding riding west instead of pushing or guiding we're gonna try riding now and see if that's broken or not oh great he did it he can ride west excellent they kind of jump in the minecart as they give it a shove and then ride it okay great so let's change that condition uh, back to guide immediately And we'll just give it one more try for good measure now that we know that we can kick it and ride it. We'll just test guiding one more time. Just for the benefit of the doubt, you know? If we click on this guy right here that's standing on the minecart, we can then click on the minecart over here and see what's in there. Okay, is that one built? Oh, it is. Great. So we're ready to test fire here. And we're going to see how far these picks go. And maybe it'll be great. <laughs> so this condition right here, we're going to add a condition. And we're going to switch this to east. Just like that. Uh, guide east immediately. We want to change guide to kick. And empty of desired items. And then immediately always. Okay. So as soon as we unpause the game, it's unpaused right now. Somebody's going to come along and kick that minecart. It's going to go into these impulse ramps, which are going to give it an incredible speed. It's going to slam into this wall. The minecart itself is going to drop down. Oh, we didn't build the track down here. Okay, let's forbid it. Oops, that was dumb. Let's forbid it. So now as soon as we unforbid it, that'll happen. The minecart will slam into this wall and fall. The contents will come up and then be propelled outward this way. And anything over here is gonna be hurt. So we'll make a new animal zone. Pen and pasture right here. Accept that. Let's add a bunch of animals in there. Just to see, you know. <laughs> Okay, so animals are going in there, and then down here at the very bottom, uh, let's dig another channel. Then we'll build the ramp and fire the gun, okay? <laughs> okay we'll dump those items right here. Dump the items just in case. They shouldn't affect anything, even if they're on the track, but we're going to dump them because we don't know exactly what changed from this release to the last. Okay, we're also going to build, construct, track. We'll start on the lower tile here, and then we'll build it up right to there. Blocked at this location. Why would it be blocked? Let's try it in reverse. Okay, 
So in reverse it works, and we'll do it at iron bars there. So this is a Dolomite downward slope. The dwarves can walk onto this tile here, use the ramp here to get onto this tile, and then use the ramp again to get onto this tile here. This is an east-west track ramp, upward slope. This is a track ramp west, upward slope. All the items here are dumped. If I go to this uh, setting right here to show visible items, there's not even hidden items on this. So these are all dumped. And they're still not able to guide this cart. Okay, so then this cart right here, we're just going to delete that stop. Uh, so route, there we go, route 2 and route 5. So that's going to be taken back to the stockpile. Uh, we have our test subjects in place. I'm just going to need to slaughter some puppies for some food. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we eat in this fortress. It's every once in a while you notice there's no food, but that's because we ran out of puppies, or we, or we just made some puppies and we didn't kill, we didn't slaughter them yet. Okay, so we got all this. Are those puppies right there? Oh, those are dogs. Okay, so those are the breeders. We don't eat the dogs. We eat the puppy. Okay, great. This track is complete, and we can test this by unforbidding the cart here. So unforbid. And now some dwarf with the push-pull track vehicle labor is going to come along. Push-haul vehicles. This is the this is the one that you want to have enabled right here. Push-haul vehicles. So a dwarf with the push-haul vehicles labor is going to come along and give this minecart a shove. And we're saving the world. We're saving the world. So after we save the world, we'll... Now that we saved the world... We can reload if we need to. Oh, great. Excellent. So you saw that. That's going pretty fast there. Uh, I'm going to line up the camera here and just unpause the game. You're going to have to trust me that the minecart's going to fall down and the picks are going to come up and out. Let's see. Yes. Extremely underwhelming there. Uh, so we're probably going to have to build the accelerator. Although this is stuck on the track ramp here, it won't it won't move, so the cart return is broken. Okay, I don't even think any of these puppies got, oh, these dogs got hurt. No health problems, come on. Not this one. No health problem. Wounds. So this is kind of one thing that is a little bit annoying too. I have to click on the animal and then health and then wounds. Click on the animal, health, and then wounds. It doesn't keep the information of the tab that I was on. So it would be it would be pretty cool if it it saved the tab that I was on. If I go to the next creature, then it would go back to that same tab. We didn't even hurt one of these. <laughs> we didn't even hurt one of these innocent animals with my contraption. It's vexing. It's the whole point of this game is to build contraption. <laughs> that's not the, that's not, no. The whole point of this game is to build contraptions to, to. <laughs> for me at least, for me at least. Okay, so we're gonna reset this cart. I'm gonna try it one more time. Uh, but this time we are gonna change the condition right here. Instead of uh, push off east immediately, we're going to ride east immediately. So one of the dwarves, one of the lucky dwarves who gets that lottery ticket is going to jump into that cart and ride it east. For better or worse. <laughs> Let's see. they got to bring the cart to the stockpile first. And then once the cart is back in one of the stockpiles then it can be returned to the track. So it's nice to have the stockpiles kind of close. Uh, the minecarts are under furniture stockpiles, and I always make them exclusive for minecarts. Oh, excellent. Stop one here. He's in there. 
Yes. He's in there at stop one. Who is that? Solon, Baron of Hoof Fountains. This is the Baron. This is the fortress's, one of the fortress's barons here. We have a king here as well. I'm going to pull the lever. Okay, lever is pulled. Let's come up one level and see. Yes. <laughs> well, at least that part works. <laughs> Solon Sormir, being the rightful heir, has inherited the position of Baroness of Hoof Fountains. <laughs> Iron Minecart. One notable kill. Okay, great. This one's this one's on the track here, and we can see we can see the next lottery winner here. Oh, here he goes. Okay, who is this? Attis. The peasant Attis. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, Attis has died. <laughs> I didn't get very good distance here, though. <laughs> I should... Addis should have went way over here on the other side. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos.